Hello everybody, my name is Katie Hunt and I am the K-12 Education Engagement Specialist at the Indiana State Museum and Historic Sites. And today I have a design challenge for you. We are going to build a catapult. Now a catapult is a kind of ancient weapon that was used to fling things like rocks at an enemy. Um, and today we are going to build small scale prototypes of that to be able to fling a lightweight object across the room. And to do that, we are gonna use everyday objects that we can find around our homes, and we're gonna follow the engineering design process as we build. So our first step here today is to ask what we're doing and what our constraints are as we build. And so our challenge is to be able to fling a lightweight object, and a lightweight object that you might be able to use is something like a cotton ball. Um, you could also use something like a cat toy, or you could go outside and find something like an acorn. That might work great for your design. And we also need to brainstorm about what kinds of objects we can use. Now I have a box right here of different kinds of supplies that I found around my house. So think about the things you can use. I have lots of cardboard, I have different size paper and plastic cups, straws, chip clips, um, let's see, we've got popsicle sticks and recycled objects uh, and string. All those kinds of things can help you build. And then you're also going to need something to be able to hold everything together. So you might need something like tape to be able to hold everything together. You might need to be able to use scissors as your tools to be able to cut with. Um, and you're also going to need a uh, pencil and paper so that way you can sketch out your design. And as you're brainstorming, I want you to think about how big you want to make your catapult. Maybe you might want to start out with a very small design and depending on the supplies you have at home, you might be able to build something that's pretty big by the end. All right, so now our next step after that is to sketch our design. Now this is one of the most important steps along the way. And so what you want to do is you want to take maybe two or three minutes and I, you want to draw out your design. Now, I've done this on this little piece of paper here. I've also done it up on my board right behind me here. And I went through and I made sure that my sketch was labeled because a labeled design is a good design. And so I went through and I labeled the different parts, like I'm gonna want an arm to be able to pull back for my catapult. Um, and I think I'm gonna make that out of cardboard today. Um, you also want to think about what your payload will be. That's the object that you're going to launch. I have my little cotton ball up here. You're going to want to think about the bucket, the place where the payload is set into. And I'm going to use a bottle cap for that. Um, and then you want to think about the frame for your catapult. Um, you could use something like a cup. I think I might use cardboard for mine today. And so after you've taken a few minutes and you've sketched out your design, this is now your blueprint. And you can use this as a reference as you build. And so I wanted to share with you today some designs that were already built. I used a styrofoam cup as the kind of the frame for their catapult. They've got some popsicle sticks that are held together with string up here. There's a, an arm that's made out of little coffee stirrer straws and some pipe cleaners down in here. And then the bucket right up here is made out of a little paper cup that's been cut off almost in half. Um, and so I also made a design a little while ago of my own that looks a little bit different from this one. I just used cardboard tape and a bottle cap for this. So this is a couple pieces of cardboard all kind of taped together here as my arm. I've got my frame that I've made out of cardboard that I've bent around here. This is the flap from a box. Um, and then I've taped on my bottle cap as my little bucket. So the next step after you've built is to test. And so let's see if they work. So here's my design and it fires. But I wonder if I could make this go further than it just did. I wonder how I could do that. Maybe that's something like adding a rubber band. I've got a hair tie right here that I could use to pull it back to make it stronger. Maybe I can reinforce the arm a little bit better so it's a little bit sturdier. Those are all things that you can think about as you go through and improve and redesign. So we have just followed the engineering design process to be able to make catapults. So happy building and thank you so much for joining me today.